Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. It is a gorgeous fall day here in Charlotte, although it is in the 80s today. It certainly looks like fall here behind us. You can see our yard is almost fully covered in leaves yep. um, and the garden is starting to go to sleep. So it's just a beautiful, peaceful time here in the garden. Um, and today we thought we would give you some container inspiration. Um, now for us here in the south, we have to wait a little bit before we can do our fall containers because the heat just tends to linger. Yep. Um, and even today it's warmer than it has been the past couple of weeks. Um, so as you can see, we've got a beautiful arrangement of plants here. Um, and we're gonna try to fit them all in this black pot. Yep, if you guys remember, we flipped this pot in an earlier video and we planted some uh, annuals in it for the spring and the summer. Um, we have removed those. Uh, we put one of the uh, elephant ears in it, the coffee cups, and we removed that and put it in a pot because I think it'll come back next year. Yep. Um, and then we had some lantana and other things in it that are just annuals for us that we popped out. Um, so we have some beautiful uh, things here for the fall. Um, and why don't we tell you what they are? Okay, so we've got a beautiful red grass here. Um, this is a type of carex and um, we were picking this up. The, the people at the nursery were like, this is going to get more and more colorful as uh, the temperatures cool down. What's the official name of this uh, one? This is a leather leaf sedge, actually. So um, I think it's got these beautiful little curls on the end of it. Um, and I think it'll continue to sort of fill in and grow as it, it gets uh, cooler. Um, so we've got some uh, cabbage here. We've got some moms and some pansies and some wire vine. Yep. Um, and then we've got some rudbeckia over here to give us a little bit of interest. Um, and the nice thing about planting things like rudbeckia in a container is the frost will take this and it will be kind of done, but you can pull it out and plant it out in the garden somewhere and it's a perennial, so it'll come back for you next year. But the star of the show today are these two beautiful hookras. This is Dolce Frosted Berry here on my right. Um, and you can see the top of the leaves do look kind of frosted. They've got that silver uh, kind of glow to them, but underneath we get a beautiful purple. And then over here on my left, we've got Primo Peach Berry Ice. And this is uh, a lot of different colors. We've got yeah. some red, um, even some green. And I think as the temperatures cool down, we'll get even more of a fall show. Um, but this one, as you can see, has a red undertone. Um, both are really beautiful. And we knew that we wanted to put a hookra in the container because hookras are a semi-evergreen. So basically what that means is that they will hold most of their leaves through the winter. Uh, but once we get to spring, you can kind of pull off some of that um, dried and maybe crusty looking foliage and it will push out brand new leaves for you. Um, and it'll just get bigger over time. Although these are pretty big already. I think they might actually be a uh, mature size. Yeah, hookra or corobels are one of my favorite things to use in containers. Um, just because they come in so many different colors, a lot of those colors are sort of like fall colors, mm -hmm. like purples and oranges. Um, even the chartreuse green ones would look really pretty with a fall mix. Yeah. Um, and these are just gorgeous. So I think they're gonna be great in these pots if they don't take up the entire thing. Yes, <laughs> um, and hookahs are great because like we said, they're a semi evergreen. So if we pop this in here, as we go through frost and our first freeze and other things kind of die off, we can leave the hookra and pop in other things around it. Maybe uh, we'll go on a foraging trip and get some nice evergreens. Yeah. And then in the spring, we can leave the hookra and plant some spring stuff in here, or we can pop it out and put it somewhere in the landscape. Um, so they are super versatile. Um, and I think that you guys will find that hookras are a great choice for containers. Yeah, I love that idea. All right, so let's jump in here. Um, we are not gonna refresh the soil in this. Um, in most of our fall containers, these things aren't actually gonna really grow much for us. They're probably gonna look like they are now until we hit our first frost. Obviously the hookra are gonna perk up. They'll probably put up some new, some new leaves, but not a whole lot. So um, this is pretty loose soil. And so if you have some workable soil, that should probably be fine for you. You don't need to really worry about uh, adding much new nutrients to this because the plants really don't need it. And we actually have so many plants here that we're probably gonna end up taking out some of the soil so that we can fit them all in here yeah. um, and make them happy. Yeah, we're gonna have to manipulate some of these root balls. Okay, I'm gonna get comfortable. Okay. I'm gonna have a seat. If you wanna pass me uh, some gloves. Yep, here you go. Okay, so we're gonna, we're planting this from behind. <laughs> uh, so it's gonna be a little funky. Yeah. Um, but we're going to start with our tall stuff. So we'll start with the carex here. Yep. 
And I'm kind of thinking right here in this back corner. Oh my gosh, a little icicles fell. Um, look at this root. Holy cow. Okay, <laughs> we well. all know that grasses grow really quick and this is a very small pot for them. Yeah. So uh, it's only natural that it's root bound. I'm just gonna sort of rip it out of here. Maybe rough up some Yeah, of these rough roots. it up a little bit. This is also Holy super dry. Um, and I think that the, um, the curling happens because of the dryness. So as soon as we get some water on this, it'll probably put, put up some new growth that's super thick for us. I didn't know that. Okay. There we go. So we've got this. And then we're kind of going to go from tallest and then like work our way down to the shorter stuff in the front. Yep. Um, so maybe we'll do the Rubeckias next. Yes. What do you think? Um, I think we have some wasted space here, so we should probably shove this all the way to oh, the back. Okay. Um, yes. And You're just right. feel free to do that. If you guys are planting a fall pot, just shove it full because it's not gonna. These things aren't gonna really grow much. This is all for a show. Yeah. It's like a flower arrangement. Just pack it as full as you can possibly pack it because every little bit is gonna look so gorgeous. Okay. So that's so perfect. That's as far back as I can get it. <laughs> I think it's perfect. Okay. Okay, so we're going to do the Rebecca next, if you want to hand those. Yep. Got two of these, and they're super and full. They also have um, some new blooms on them, so that's great. This particular variety is called Amarillo Gold, um, and it looks like it has a little bit of an orange ring around uh, normally, but these are mostly solid yellow now that we're into late in the season. And this is a really big root ball, so I'm going to like break off you out a little bit here. some of this because we do not have room for all of these roots. <laughs> and typically, I don't like to do this, but you know what? We are packing a lot of stuff in here. Yep. So I'm just gonna, I'm just like squeezing the root ball together and I'm gonna push it as far to the back as I can. That's beautiful. Oh, this is gonna make a beautiful arrangement. All right, you want to fit the other one in one there? More. You <laughs> might have to do that one. Okay. I think we're just going to have to push a little of this soil yeah. and dig a hole Get here. Go right there. And so I don't think that we told you guys where we're putting this. So this is going to go right by our front steps. Um, do you want to yep. take the bottom of that soil off, honey? Yep. So this is going to go right by our front steps. Um, so it's going to be a really nice... Uh, site for our guests to see when they come over. Oh my gosh. Um, and we also have irrigation up there, so we'll be able to tap this in pretty easily. Yeah. And we won't have to worry about watering it. Okay, next, let's do the hookra. Okay. So, unfortunately, <laughs> we're not going to be able to fit both of these. This pot is always smaller than what I remember. I know. <laughs> Every it... time I'm like picking out stuff for this, and then Brian is like, you know, it's not that big. <laughs> um, I, Which one do you think that you like better with this combination of colors? Just with this combo, I will say that this one has some beautiful fall color, but since we uh, picked the yellow and sort of the burnt orange of the mums, I think that the dark purple is just going to add such beautiful contrast to yeah. this that it'll be a really uh, striking, especially since this is when you walk up to our front porch um, with the oranges of the pumpkins. Um, I think that the purple's really cool. It'll be like a little bit of a cooling effect because everything else yeah. is very warm. And look at that color. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try to get this in this small hole that we have here. You might have to... Uh... Yeah, tease the roots a little bit, sort of squish them. These are also super, super uh, hardy plants. I will say we had some voles that ate some hookra roots in the ground and we popped them out and popped the... It was, there was barely any roots or anything left. Yeah. Um, and we popped them in some pots and sort of nursed them along and they are huge and beautiful now. Mm -hmm. They so, came back like nothing ever happened. You'd never know. Yeah, so you can be a little rough on these plants if you need to. Okay. We'll get it in there. Here, I'll hold these this. back. This is a two-person job. Perfect. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. Immediately gorgeous. Okay, let's backfill some soil. Yep. Do you Do need some, some over, here. over here? Yeah. Try to make it through. Um, so I will call out that these hookahs are from two different uh, lines of hookah from Proven Winners. Mm -hmm. So Frosted Berry is from the Dolce series, which, as you can see, it's still pretty big, but <laughs> it's typically on the smaller side. And then the Primo series, which is what this one is from, um, tend to get a little bit larger. And I think the Primo series has um, slightly larger bloom stalks yep. too. Um, so just something to consider 
for long term. Obviously, you know, this is only going to be in here for a few months. But if you're planting these um, in maybe a pot that is you're going to keep them in forever or out in the landscape somewhere, um, just something to know with the sizing. Yeah, and even the blooms, that could be exciting in the spring. Yeah, Whenever, that's true. If we pop some things out of this and pop some back in, we could get some really beautiful blooms on this. Yeah. Okay, so, okay, I'm going to get up on my knees because it's getting hard to see. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, do you think we can fit both of these mums in here? Um, I think so. That we can manipulate the root ball a little bit. Yeah, we don't have a lot left. Okay, so we'll do the mums, and maybe we could do one up in front here by this hookra. There's um, some room here. Okay. You could pop it in, and then I'll put one back here. Like you might said, have want to squeeze that just, root ball too. Yeah. The roots on these are really crazy. Just do whatever you can to fit them in here. <laughs> and they'll be fine. The roots will come right on back. And like we said, these aren't going to be in here for a full season anyway. It's just for oh, a couple of so months pretty. for the fall. So we can have some color. Yeah. It's really gorgeous. Oh yeah. I also love, uh, so we have some icicles here. Um, and I love the silver with all of the contrasting colors here, especially the purple um, of the hookra. This has some silver in it too, so it'll play off of that. Um, I really like it when everything sort of talks to each other. Pretty. Okay, I'm going to move this hookra. All right. Because I'm getting him dirty. Maybe the... <laughs> um, this, the kale? Yeah, the I'm kale sorry, I said cabbage. This is kale. <laughs> this is called Pigeon Victoria, and it, do, it is starting to show signs of pink in the middle, which so is going to be really pretty in here. Yep. Um, now this one, I'm going to have to tip it out a little bit. Yeah. And maybe even take some of the roots off. Definitely. And kale tends to last through the winter here for us. It does, yeah. And it usually blooms in the spring, too. Yeah, it's got some really pretty yellow blooms on it. And so we could potentially leave that, too, and have some really uh, nice spring color. Yeah. So maybe we'll swap out some of this stuff. So, like, the mums will kind of be done after a couple of weeks here. Mm-hmm. Um, something to keep in mind when you're shopping for mums, they do not rebloom. So these mums here that you see with the blooms, that is it. Yeah. So if you're shopping for mums and you want them to last longer, uh, buy some that are just butted up. All right, guys. Well, the camera overheated. Yes. Apparently we're not done with that yet. Um, so I was planting this kale and I was saying that if you buy mums that are already bloomed out like this, this is all you get with them. You know, you'll get the blooms for maybe a week or two, and then they'll kind of be done. So if you want your mums to last a little bit longer in the season, just buy them where they are just budded up or just starting to open so you know what color you're getting. Yep. And then they will last for much longer um, because once the blooms are done, you may get like a few extra blooms come out, but it's not going to be anything as showy as the first round of blooms. Yeah, um, and moms are also water lovers. So if you keep them watered and you keep them moist, maybe even twice a day watering for yeah. moms, especially if you have the big giant ones, um, that's how you'll keep the blooms that are on them looking really good for a few weeks yep. um, because you're probably not going to get another flush of blooms after that. <laughs> yep. Okay. okay, so let's get back to our pot. So we were about to plant our icicles here. Yep. Um, and we're going to put one right here mm -hmm. and maybe one here in between. Yeah, I think that's great. And we can What's sort of... What's the scientific name for this plant? Um, I don't remember. Let's see. Oh, this is helichrysum. Hi yes, I yes. Icicles helichrysum. Okay. This is a small hole here, but I'm going to make it work. Yeah. Just kick some dirt out of there. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm kind of like zhuzhing things around yep. in here. That's fine. And I've got some extra dirt over here if we need to backfill anything. It's so full. Ooh, this, I love is this is like <laughs> really coming together nicely. All right. Okay, so now all we have left is some wire vine and we've got some uh, violas here. Now, the white one is a little dry, he's <laughs> droopy, um, but it'll be fine. You he'll know what? Up. We'll water him and he'll be okay. So, are you thinking the wire vine kind of like offset over here with the cabbage or in the middle and the pansies around? I what say do you let's think? put the wire vine in the middle so it's sort okay. of a, a spiller. So wire vine, especially where we live in zone 8, 7B, 8, um, it should last through the winter and it'll come back in the spring too. So it can, like we said, it'll serve sort of as the, the spiller in this pot um, after we change it over for the spring. Um, and I also like wire vine because it just looks kind of like woodlandy yeah. and uh, pretty and it's very soft looking, a great texture. 
Um, so I think that'll be pretty in this pot, especially with the violas that have those super bold um, leaves. This guy is so dry. Well, we're gonna water him. Yeah. He'll perk up. We gotta get this pot in place and water it. Okay. So again, we are going with violas. Again, we haven't bought a single pansy this year, you guys. Yep. Other than the pansies that we're growing from seed, which are getting big. I think we might start uh, hardening them off. But other than that, we are doing all violas. And I'm very excited to see how it turns out because everyone says that you get way more color with violas than the pansy. A more dense color, I should say. Yeah, and I've noticed that we are sort oh, of drastic roots. people. Oh my goodness. We're drastic people, and we discovered that we like violas a little bit better than pansies, and so of course that's all we've purchased this year. Yep. <laughs> um, and goes. so I guess we can maybe next year mix them together a little bit after we have some experience with both of them um, and see which one we like better. I have made a mess over here. That's all right. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. Okay, last one. Okay, this is gonna be tight <laughs> getting this in here i can't see it from the front but i, I already know, know yeah this is gonna be does so it pretty. look okay you guys i mean let us know <laughs> okay. um okay i'm gonna get some extra dirt okay. from here do you help at all maybe okay. just gonna fill in some of the holes here because all of this will settle and mm -hmm. i want to make sure all of the root balls are protected yep Wow, that's so pretty. Holy cow, this is beautiful. All right. And it's so full. Yeah, I think this so is gorgeous. That is one other thing that we want to say about fall pots is, you know, unlike our summer pots that we plant, um, you give those pots room to kind of fill in and grow, but you don't get that time with the fall plants. So it's okay to pack them in because you only get maybe four to six weeks out of these yep. and then they're kind of done. So you want them to be full from the jump. And I would say this is full. Yeah, I think it's pretty full, and I think it's going <laughs> to greet our guests really well. It's fall, so like we love to have friends over yeah. uh, on the patio now that the weather has cooled down a little bit. And I think this will be a, a great sort of uh, greeting for them as they walk up. Yeah, and the hookra makes the perfect pop of color. I actually love how with everything being so tight in here, mm -hmm. it's kind of pushing some of the leaves up, and you get to see the underside. Yeah. You don't always get to see that when they're in the ground because... They're lower than your eye level, you know? Yep, and since we sort of tilted it over to the side, it's also so, sort of uh, serving as a spiller in this container. Mm -hmm. So I think the whole thing's gonna be really pretty in place. Yeah. Why don't we go take it out front? Yep. All right, guys, we got the container in place and we decided to deck out the front porch with some pumpkins and uh, some other hookah as well. And the container looks so beautiful. It is just perfectly filled. The colors are all balanced. The helichrysum gives it that nice, cool texture. And the hookah is just beautiful. The way that it kind of drapes over the side and you can see the under belly of the leaves it just is so perfect and we've got some purple violas in here to tie in with that and then the rubecchias even have some new blooms coming out it just i don't know it's it's beautiful we are loving it um so i did put some drip irrigation inside of the pot so that will get watered uh every time that our irrigation runs which is still every day at this point because it's a little hot still um and we did have some extra hookah left over so i've got some of the peach berry ice um, up here on the stairs and then Brian popped another of the frosted berry here in the ground and we've got a mum in the ground as well and it's just the perfect fall porch I can't wait to come out here in the mornings and drink our coffee it's gonna be magical well you guys that is another fall project knocked out yeah it's so beautiful I mean every single year that we've been in this house we have done something new and different to the front porch for fall and for Halloween and it just keeps getting better and better this year I thought it was gonna be a little plain because we sort of went nostalgic with the orange pumpkins but it's just so pretty and I think this is gonna be so pretty all fall long yeah and we've never done a big fall container like this up front we've had that pot for years at this point you've had it longer than you've known me that's right um but it is really beautiful over in the corner and 
I don't know, I hope this inspired you guys to put some new stuff in your fall containers that maybe you haven't thought of before. Hookahs are obviously a great choice because you have them for four seasons, really. You get a lot of interest out of them. Yep, they're so gorgeous. Anyway, we hope you guys are enjoying fall so far and doing some projects, and we hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, and we will see you in the next one. Bye.